sola. Mom, are you happy to be here? <laughs> yes. Yes, dile, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, dile. of course. Like this, this song. <laughs> Angelita, I am sending you this video to wish you a happy birthday. Um, my name is Mario and I am your son-in-law. I'm married to Norma and I wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you, um, how much you've done for me since uh, I met you and Norma and the family. I was asked to answer a couple of questions and the first question I would like to answer is what it is that I like about you. And I think that it's not just one thing, but the most important things are your food, your sense of humor, your common sense, and um, everything that you are willing to do for the family, including myself. And I really appreciate that. Um, the memory, uh, one memory that stands out to me uh, regarding you is uh, all of the activities that we had uh, at our uh, wedding cruise. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, gambling and going to the different uh, islands and just enjoying the cruise in general. So I really, really enjoyed that. And um, I was here when you had your health issues and uh, I'm really glad that you came out of that and you're very healthy and you're a very important part of our lives. So uh, thanks again and uh, have a very, very happy birthday. Happy birthday, I'm here with Albi. We're in California, and my favorite memory is watching you watch people dance on the TV on YouTube, so I'm gonna dance for you in this little circle. Yeah, happy birthday, bye. I'm Grandma's granddaughter, Sophia, and my favorite childhood memory with grandma is when um, I would get home from school and we would paint and like do homework literally on the table. Like we would write on the table and she would make me ramen and put ice in my ramen so I didn't burn myself. And um, then we would just wait until my mom picked me up. And my favorite like memory about her or her, my favorite story is when she told me that her brother almost got eaten by a snake and I just oh my gosh I thought that that was a cool story <laughs> I love you grandma happy birthday happy birthday grandma from me and kitty my name's Johnny I'm a granddaughter and this is my favorite kitty in the world anyways I just want to say how grateful I am for our relationship. You mean the world to me. I'm so thankful how close we are. I love how I can just call you up and vent to you and you give me the best advice or you just listen or light a candle anytime I need. You're my biggest supporter ever. I miss you every single day that I wake up. I wish you would come visit me, but I know you can't right now. But one day I will get you out here and we will go thrifting because one of my favorite memories is every Friday I'd go pick up you and we would go to the nursery and then we'd go to the Goodwill and we would hunt our asses off all the time. And we had so much fun and so much laughs and uh, I just miss that so much. And I also love that all the time you would always make me bean tacos because you know they're my favorite and it's just I miss you I, it's not fair that I have to live this far away but like I said happy birthday I wish I could be there Mwah! and I hope you have the best day ever eat some good food I love you Hi, I'm Norma. I'm Angelita's daughter. I am the third daughter in line. And the best thing about my mom is her hands. Like when you've had a really hard day or just things are really tough and you feel really sad, mom's hands and holding you and massaging you is the best. And what I learned about from my mother is that how to be 
strong, how to stand up for what you believe in, um, and as my daughters say, how to be a badass. So one of the funniest things that I remember about mom is like when we were young, uh, she fought every woman in the neighborhood and she didn't care how big they were or her, how fat they were. She didn't care how many there were. Uh, she was ready to go down and take off her shoes and get go to town because she'd do anything to defend her kids. So I love you, Mom. You're the best. Happy birthday, Miss Angelita. Happy birthday to you. Love the Woods family. Hi, Mom. John, the oldest of the Rodriguez boys. Um, I say one of my favorite moments with mom was um, she was driving us and we were moving to Nixon Street and me and Linda were in the back making fun of mom saying 1549 third and as soon as I said that boom she hit the gas and I rolled out the back of the truck. So that was one of my most memorable moments with mom. And, uh, you know, that was just the Navy homes. I mean, those were the best childhood memories of her. The thing I appreciate you, about you the most, mom, is um, you wanting to go get what you want in life. And you were always there for us. And you never let us to do any drugs or alcohol. And I appreciate that. Very special woman. I love you. Bye, Mom. Happy birthday. Hi, Grandma. It's me, Jacob, and uh, hopefully I'm your favorite grandson. I'm not in the best lighting right now, but um, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I really don't have a favorite memory in particular that stands out that you have provided for me. Every time I've gone over to your house with you and Grandpa, I've always just felt welcomed in at home and really some of my favorite moments in life are just going over to grandma's and hanging out there for a little bit or even all day or even just hanging out with Trey over there. Even when we were little kids, those were always good days and I always felt loved and warm and I was just glad to be over at grandma's and it's just always great being, being around you because you're very comforting and you just, you take care of us. You take care of everybody and you've always been, been a great job at doing that. And that's something that very few people can do. And that's why I love you so much. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma, because you're nice, you're friendly, uh, Hey Grandma, thank you for always being so kind and loving. We just wanted to say happy birthday and we love you. Uh, one of my favorite traits or characteristics of mom, well, that's, that's an easy one, it's her work ethic. Um, mom has one of the most amazing work ethics I've ever seen on a human being, uh, even at this point in her age, being 80 years old. She's out there working with me in the yard and doing everything and asking me if she wants, she needs me to, or she needs to shovel or push the wheelbarrow, carry everything. I mean, she hear me, well, let me carry that so you don't hurt yourself. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, the strength and work ethic this woman has is um, second to none. So I, I would say that's one of my favorite and one that I think we all kind of carry from her and dad. Mom's work ethic is amazing. It's, I would take one mom to about 20 19 year olds, 20 19 year old men and women at the height of their health. She would outwork them all. The thing I admire about mom is her toughness. Um, she's one of the toughest women I know out there. And to this day, being 80 years old, she's a tough woman. Uh, very strong um, physically um, no 
nobody messed with her. So, um, when I mean she's tough, she wasn't afraid of anything either. So, I think both mom and dad have that, but uh, her, her toughness, that's what I admire the most. So, why do I think mom's the best? Um, all my friends love her. Girlfriend loves her, everybody loves her. Um, mom's always been a good mom, and I um, think she's just been the best mom and grandma because she's so lovable. She, she'll always love us no matter what. She's always told us that. No matter how angry or what grudges are happening, mom always will, will love us. She's done her best with, you know, the part she was handed, but, um, you know, Mom, I know I'm not your favorite, but you're mine, so love you, and happy birthday, happy 80th birthday, and thanks for being the best mom. Happy, happy birthday, Grandma! Me llamo Jessica, but you name me Jacinta. Also have called me La Huerca Cabrona, and also... La otra lawyer que tienes. I want to tell you happy birthday and you've been an amazing mom. I think back to the fact that you didn't have a mom for your most of your life or an example of how to be a mom and you still figured it out and you're like that with a lot of things in life like your iPhone and the fact that you can work that thing better than some people that are younger than you. I remember the most about the holidays and all the traditions that you would do for Easter and Christmas Eve and Christmas, but especially Halloween. And you made me a green face bruja for kindergarten and I won best costume contest. Thank you. I love Halloween and I will carry all these traditions on with my kids because of what you showed me. So thank you. I love currently that you are a amazingly sweet grandma to my children and the little things that you do for them mean so much whether it's a little stuffed animal that you got them for Easter and they hold it dear to their heart and you know the fact that you teach them how to draw people and paint and they tell me grandma taught me this but especially grandma is the one who taught me how to dance and those are the moments that I loved, even watching the nieces and nephews go through that. But now I get to see it for my kids, and I'm just so happy that you get to be a grandma to my kids. And thank you for everything that you are to all of us. Happy birthday, and thank you for the life that you've sacrificed so that I could have the life that I have. Thank you. One more thing, thank you for teaching me your pelionera ways because I was able to use education and my experience to use it to make a living. So thank you for passing it on to a generation. I will use the pelionera skills wisely. Happy birthday, Angelita. I wanna thank you for always being a welcoming person to me since uh, the first time I met you. You've always showed me great hospitality and made me feel part of the family. And also thank you very much for always uh, giving me a hand when I needed someone to watch the kids when I had something going on. I uh, appreciate it very much. I hope you have a blessed day. Okay, now go. Hi, Grandma. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Grandma. And what's your favorite thing to do with Grandma? Dance. Dance? Is there anything else you want to say to Grandma about how special she is? Paint. Oh, and painting. Happy birthday with her. No, you just have to say it. No, say it loud. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. Love you, Grandma. Love you, Grandma. <laughs> Bye. Aw, good job. Okay, say it. Lights, camera, action. The other day, is Miko. Okay, it's for Grandma. Hi, my name is Mika, and I got my Mickey hat. Today, grinding in my new Mickey hat is I know this is about Grandma. And it's about Grandma. Happy birthday.
What's your favorite thing about Grandma? Uh, I, my favorite thing is about the toy that Grandma gave me. Aww. The end. Okay, say I love you and happy birthday. I love you happy birthday. I'll say it again so she can hear you. I love you happy birthday. Okay, blow her a kiss. Aww. Hi, this is Angie Pacheco. And I am Angelita's daughter and I am named after her. What I admire about my mother is that she's always been strong and resilient and I love her curly beautiful hair and her thoughtfulness and her entrepreneurship always wanting to start a business and always wanting to fix everything. So I appreciate that I learned all of those traits from her and I love the fact that she showed me how to sew and she was very artistic and always trying something new. So mom, I want to wish you a happy 80th birthday and I hope that your life continues to be fulfilled with all of your children and grandchildren and your husband. I love you. Bye. Hey grandma, happy birthday. Uh, my favorite memory is when we'd be at your house and I'd see Trey going, bam, 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 Happy birthday grandma. Hey grandma, it's your grandson Michael. Um, Wanted to wish you a happy birthday and what I appreciate about you was that you always made time for us. That whether it was a project or anything we were interested in doing, you made sure that you took the time to pay attention to what we were saying and, you know, get done the project that we wanted or the thing we wanted to play with. So happy birthday, Grandma. I love you. Hi, great grandma. It's your great grandchildren, Julian and Robin. Um, my my favorite memory was when I was when you make when you made Play-Doh for me and my brother. I love playing with you and my brother. Um, I hope you're having a great time. Love you. Happy birthday. Well, hi there, Mrs. Rodriguez. I know this is a little late, but I want to wish you a happy birthday. I cannot believe I have known you gosh, since I was about 12 years old. You have been an inspiration to me throughout the years. You've raised such beautiful children. I, um, I'll never forget the first day I met you. You welcomed me with warm arms. And ever since then, if I see you in a grocery store or anywhere, you always have open arms to give me. And I've always appreciated, appreciated that and admire you for that. I'm wishing you a happy birthday again, and thank you for being such a wonderful lady. Hi, my name is Linda, and I am a middle child. I have three siblings older than me and three siblings who are younger than me. Um, I just want to say happy birthday, mother. I can't believe you're 80. You look so good. Anyway, my daughter wanted me to tell you um, all about my mom, some funny moments. And one funny moment is when she was on jury duty and she didn't know how to read or write. So we had to teach her how to spell guilty and not guilty. And to this day, I think nobody knew that she didn't know how to read or write she would go to jury duty dressed up really nice and they thought she was this professional Hispanic woman. Um, another funny moment was Buster um, ended up getting run over. That was our dog and um, mom decided she was gonna curarlo so she um, gave him antibiotics and pain meds and brought him back to help. Um, some chingona moments were that mom worked in the fields and she worked all the way until she went into labor. Another funny moment was when she tore down the pool and the balcony because um, she didn't want, want it there anymore. And um, she tore it all down on her own and buried it in that hole. And to this day, it's still buried in that hole, I bet. Um, one moment that I can't forget that mom did for me was when I was in the hospital for 11 days. Um, she tried to ask for the time off and they wouldn't give it to her so she said well screw you i'm gonna be with my daughter and she stayed in spokane with me the whole time uh, to this day i feel i mean that's very special to me 
And um, when I was younger, she'd work on school projects with me and she helped me build Mount St. Helens and she helped me put together Queen Elizabeth. I made a doll and mom, of course, wanted to um, design the dress for her. And um, I ended up getting an A on that project and the teacher was so impressed that she displayed my doll. And it's probably still at Pasco High to this day. Um, one thing mom taught us is um, to not take education for granted. Um, she always said that she didn't get to go to school and we've had this opportunity to go and so um, we needed to make the best of it. And, and I think all of us have and we've all learned, um, you know, to uh, do our best and, and I've instilled it in my kids too. And she's such an amazing grandma and I'm so proud to call myself a daughter and I love you so much mom mm, I hope you can live for another 80 years but anyway I love you so much Mwah. happy birthday to wish you a happy birthday have a wonderful 80th birthday that's amazing Hello, my name is Bella Camarillo I am the granddaughter of Angelita I wish you a happy 80th birthday. I love you so much, Grandma. And I would say my favorite thing about Grandma is her creativity. I have learned so much by her. She taught me how to sew, draw, paint, all growing up as a kid. And I owe my creativity to her. And I appreciate the strong woman and role model she has been my entire life. And I just love how supportive she is and loving she is. I wish you the best 80th birthday. Love you, Grandma. Mwah. Hi, I'm Frankie Camarillo. I am the grandson of Angelita Rodriguez. And um, I'm going to talk about my grandma. Uh, some stuff uh, the grandma has taught me and also showed me. Uh, I vividly remember uh, showing off my first game I've ever made uh, to her. And I was not very proud of my game. It was one of my first, and there's a lot of different stuff I wanted to do with the game that I couldn't do. So it was a little bit sad, but when I showed it off to Grandma, she um, she was so surprised and had the biggest smile on her face. It was the most nicest thing ever, and she taught me that it doesn't... You don't have to always make the best work. You know, you can always be proud of the work you have always done, no matter what. And... And that's something that has been helping me get through college a lot now. Thank you, Grandma. Hope you have a great birthday. Have a good one. Hey, familia, vatos, esos locos. Aquí el mero mero del Mexico City, el ahijado predilecto de la señora Angela Rodríguez. El señor Franco Camarillo para servirles. Pues me dijeron que tenía que hacer un video acerca de mi suegra, mi suegrita. La Angelita, pues yo creo que uno de los recuerdos más bonitos es cuando nos fuimos a ver a los Bukis de concierto con mi vieja y la tía Lala. ¿Para qué creen que estaba riquiti bueno el concierto? Y con el handicap card entramos tin, 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 derechito, derechito al concierto. Pues entonces, como estamos celebrando el... Super cumpleaños de la gelita. Nos vamos a echar un tequilita. Pu, pu, pu. Mexicanito. Y pues le deseamos a Angelita que siga disfrutando de su vida, siga siendo feliz y sobre todo siga cuidando de todos los nietos y toda la familia como lo ha sido, ha sido todo este tiempo. ¡Salud, Angelita! ¡Ay, ay, ay! Thank you.